What's up guys, that's Tino Plays here and welcome back to the 5016 Sheffield Tonight a career mode. And today we have episode 16 of season 2. As you can see there, I've got the games for today. Three of them, as always. So, just a quick look at the table and a number of other things before we get into this. Now, today's question of the day is, what in your opinion is the greatest FA Cup shock of all time? Um, for mine... It would probably have to be Bradford versus Chelsea last season. But your opinion could be different, so leave that in the comment section below. Anyway, let's get on with the squad update. And as you can see, it's just quickly running through the team. Essentially the same as the last episode and most games at the moment. So, yep, let's get straight into the first game against Nottingham Forest at home. Now, in the previous encounter, we edged it 1-0. It was a tight game and they are a very good team. They are also in a very good position to uh, knock us out of the playoff places. But we almost went one up against them, apart from the fact Agard was a teeny a little bit offside. And lucky there, and we could have been one up. But here, this cross hits the bar. Very unlucky, and it could easily have gone in. But again, we attacked in this clip. Agard loses the ball and Coots has a shot over the bar and we lose the ball here in fact moving on to the second half and they pass the ball around a bit before hitting the post platter and lucky there not to score and then Cody here on the ball he passes it to Skoogle and it eventually comes through to Musa but his shot is blocked so we get nothing out of that and then at the end with it still nil nil hanging finally in the balance they put in a good ball into our box and it's nearly a goal but it isn't thankfully for us nil 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 sorry will do us just fine actually because they don't gain anything on us so we get enough out of that game but in the next league game we do need a win because we've been lacking the three points out of games lately but that's not the focus for now. The focus is the FA Cup semi-final against Manchester United. We exited at this stage last year as Spurs on penalties. Hopefully we can gain redemption and beat the many men. Now ironically on the day of this being recorded, this fixture does actually take place at Old Trafford and it's currently going on whilst I do this voiceover so I don't actually know what the result's gonna be. I was gonna do a sort of question of the day about it but that wouldn't have been relevant because I didn't know the result. That might be for Wednesday's episode though. But anyways, moving on to the action of this game which is entirely unique, Manchester United have a shot on goal there. Bit of a rare sight actually. Uh, but this clip shows us getting a penalty for a handball by Varane I think it is, who they signed in this grey mode. And then Kieran Agard puts this one up. Victor Valdez went the right way but he couldn't save it and we were 1-0 up like we were in the FA Cup semi-final last season. But again, just like the FA Cup final semi-final last season, deja vu, we concede very quickly afterwards to make it 1-1. Varane with a header straight from a corner, and the many, we the many men were back on terms. But we are another shot and goal here, uh, Egard forcing the save from Valdez. And we get a bit of luck here, and Burns forces the save again could have been 2-1 up there but before the end of the first half Wayne Rooney never scores in real life terrible player in real life at the moment for Manchester United mainly because of the way they play but apparently this career mode doesn't see that and Manchester United score and the annoying thing about it is that they hadn't really warranted it on their general play and their fans barely celebrated, although that's actually realistic, so, you know. But, anyway, you can basically tell I don't like Manchester United, and we tried to thwart their efforts to get to the final here, but good defending, I hate to admit, and unfortunately, I mean, listen to that reaction, it's just so bland. Our, our fans would have been much better at reacting if we'd got the win, so, um we lose to the many men 
the team who know not how to win by merit, but how to spend money and do nothing else, basically. But um, anyway, enough of my rant about Manchester United. Uh, we have another game this episode in the Championship. We'll revenge them next season, I'm sure, if we get into the Premier League. But to make sure we put, give ourselves a chance to even get into the playoffs, we have to win this game against Huddersfield. Just purely because we've been behind on playing game in the end. Whilst we've not been playing, the other teams have been gaining points, so... It's imperative we get something out of this game. But in the early stages, they had a good chance here. And that should have been in. But then this incredible slice of luck sees them take the lead. And it was incredibly lucky, but they did have the lead. And we have a terrible record after going behind in a game. And whenever we do it, we never seem to win. But we did try and press to get back into the game. Skoogle here plays in Cody. And his shot is straight at the keeper there, unfortunately. But here, Harris plays it in uh, Agard, and it has a good ball into Cody. This time, he has the killer instinct and finishes it off to make it 1-1. So, an early equaliser this time, and could we reverse our bad fortune after going 1-0 down? They dragged the opposition out of position. What a good team goal that was. This is great teamwork. That was a good goal for us with the team play, but... They were still very much in the game, and this volley here was on target. Good save from Howard. And they had another effort on target here. Uh, it hits the post, actually, so it's not an effort on target. But it does look as though it was saved. But that's uh, irrelevant because we play very well here to get ourselves in the position. And Cody again with a lethal finish into the bottom corner. He is ruthlessly efficient on his day and that is what he is today so it's 2-1 before half time and we are giving ourselves a real chance of winning a crucial game for us moving into the second half now and they have a corner here they try it at the near post and they're desperately trying to scramble it over the line but we have a lot of bodies guarding our goal and here from another corner this header looks the, all the world as though it's going in. An amazing goal line clearance there though, and I'm not even sure who it was. And here, Cody has a chance for the hat trick, in fact, with this free kick. I didn't think I'd ever find myself saying that. And he very nearly gets it, actually, uh, not too far away. But he doesn't get it, and more importantly, we hold on for the 2-1 win. Same result against um, that we had earlier in the season, so... It's very important for us as well, at a great time. And that now puts us in a position to really fight and kick on towards that playoff position that we have worked so hard to maintain. But it's not done yet. Six games left for us. We have got a lot of work to do to ensure we're actually in those playoffs. And Leicester City are looking like they're going to get in there now. We haven't beaten them in two games this season, so if we play them, it'll be worrying. But... Let's just focus for now on getting there. So if you want to see more of this career mode, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.